What's up guys, it's Austin. Welcome to today's vlog. Today I'm in Banff and I'm with a friend from the States. This is Alex. <laughs> He's visiting for a few days. Yeah, we're just checking out Banff for a couple days and uh, this is the hotel. It's called the Dorothy Hotel. It's pretty cool. And then on the floor they have this neat kind of tiling where it's just like dirt leaves. It's pretty cool, honestly. I've never seen anything like it before. Then this is the bathroom. They have like heated towels and everything. Really nice countertops and a glass shower. I don't know what kind of head that is on the shower but it's pretty nice. But yeah, that's pretty much the room. We just walked around, uh, what was it, Lake Johnson? Lake. Yeah, we just walked around Lake Johnson and it's pretty cool. We're about to go get something to eat right now. See you guys in a minute. All right, so just got some A&W. I forgot to actually show the courtyard, which is actually pretty cool. It's all lit up right now. It's getting a little dark. <laughs> Wanted to show you guys that. That's so far what everything looks like at the hotel right now. It's pretty cool. I like it. And they actually just newly renovated this place. It's actually pretty fancy. Today we are exploring the Bamp Springs Haunted Hotel. I actually did this place back all the way in 2016 and it's been a few years. Decided why not explore it again. More up to date. I'm gonna get into the history of the hotel a little bit and then some of the hauntings that have occurred. So here we go. So the Bamp Springs Hotel started being built in 1886 and took two years to finish and they opened their doors in 1888. The Ghost Bride, which is the main haunting, dates back to the late 1920s. The story goes that a young couple's wedding day, the bride decked out in her wedding gown, descended one of the hotel's marble staircases. Something startled her, causing her to slip and fall. She caught her heel in the hem of her dress. Others say her dress brushed up against a candle's flame. Whatever the cause, the end result is the bride died on those steps. I'm gonna try and maybe bring the EMF reader to those steps and see if it maybe possibly goes off. I have no idea. But people have taken pictures there and caught orbs and stuff. Since then, hotel staff and guests have seen a veiled figure moving up and down the stairs or seeing a figure in a dress dancing in the ballroom upstairs. The next spirit is Sam the Bellman. He worked there in the 60s and 70s. He's said to be roaming the hall. There was actually two guests that stayed at the hotel and they were calling down to the front desk for help and no one was there and 15 minutes had gone by and this guy dressed in plaid was walking down the hallway and actually let them into the room and help them out. The desk called up and asked if they still needed help and they said they got help from another guy that was at the hotel that was named Sam. They said that he is one of the spirits that haunts the hotel, which is actually kind of creepy. It says that he also haunts his old office, now is a guest room on the mezzanine floor, as well as seeing apparitions and feeling cold spots on the sixth, seventh, and ninth floors of the hotel. Guests have reported having the pillows yanked out from under their heads while they slept or being pushed off the bed by an unseen entity. This is where it gets like really weird. There's a room called 873 that supposedly got moved. I don't know if it's like a myth or if it's actually even real. I've been up there before and we tried to find it. It's supposed to be in, in between 871 and 872, somewhere down the end of the hall. And it says this room is covered because it has so much terrible things happen. A whole family was actually murdered in the room. Guests have reported being awakened by screaming. They would turn on the light in the bathroom and see bloody handprints on the mirror. And then they would call down the front desk. And by the time they came back up from the front desk, the bloody handprints would be gone off the mirror. So yeah, that's basically the gist of all the hauntings. So, uh, Let's go check this place out. So we're just going up to the eighth floor where 873 was taken out. This guy in the elevator said he stayed on the eighth floor and he had flickering lights going on and off in his room and couldn't explain it. So this is the hallway that it's supposed to be down like over there. It would be right in between here. Here's 872. You can kind of see like markings where it was taken out. So got the meter here. See if it even goes off near this wall. I don't know if it will, but see if it even picks up anything. I know people have gotten orbs down this hallway in their pictures. So far, it's not really going off. I'm actually kind of more curious to see if it'll go off near that bride staircase. I think we'll probably be heading down there pretty quick. But yeah, it looks like you can actually see the markings where that room used to be where it was taken out. So that's actually pretty creepy that that's still there. And that was where that whole family got murdered and there was like bloody handprints on the mirror and a whole bunch of other things. And they just took it out because it was so bad. Nobody would stay there. I just asked one of the employees where this creepy staircase is because I couldn't remember where it was and this hotel is such a maze. It's on mezzanine number two. We're gonna try and find that. That's where the bride apparently died back when on her wedding day. We're gonna find that, see if we can get some EMF readings. Here we go. I think we're getting pretty close to it because I recognize this floor from last time I was here. It might actually be in here. I think it's this right here because what's in there? Oh, it's a private event room. So it's down here, probably. Let's see if this thing spikes. Might be these. 
Oh, it's on another set. So I think it's down from these ones. So it looks like we finally found it. I have to go back up the stairs again. But this is where the bride fell down the staircase. And there's the picture of her over there. I'm assuming she would have fell like right here. This is it. Let's see if it even goes into any colors. So I've never brought this thing here before. Did you see the coin? They minted a coin. It has an effect when you turn. It says it's part of the Haunted Canada collection. It uses lenticular technology to create a haunted eye opening effect when the coin is tilted. It has a matching stamp that does the same thing. It's like a hologram. I have no idea what's down here. This is still by the staircase. So we are very lost. We cannot find the staircase out of here without interrupting the wedding event that's going on right now. We found a random elevator on this floor, so see if this leads our way out. Alright guys, so kind of a huge jump from last night when we got lost in the hotel. This really nice lady guided us out, but there was this one woman that said, oh, you can go down these set of stairs, and then there was supposed to be an exit there, and there wasn't. So we were just kind of confused, but this one woman led us out to the end of the street. There wasn't much activity at all there for like ghost stuff, like the meter wouldn't go off, but it was really cool to see it again. Right now we're at Lake Louise, and this view is just insane. That's the Fairmont Chateau Lake Louise. Yeah, crazy. This view is insane. It took about half an hour to get up here and it's insanely steep and very icy. Quite a difficult terrain and it's going to be interesting getting off this mountain. I'm thinking we might go in the hotel. Are we going to do that? Yeah, we can go try and get in there. Okay. We can at least go through the lobby. Yeah, check that'd out. be cool. If I, I want to see what it looks like inside because that other hotel has such dark woods and granite and everything. So we'll see if this hotel is a little bit different. Yeah. Yeah, it'll be really cool to get like the two biggest hotels or some of the two biggest hotels in Banff. So that'd be awesome because I've never been inside that one. So we'll go check it out. So now we're right up to the building. This is the Fairmont Chateau Lake Louise Hotel. We were just way way up there looking over it and uh just about to go inside right now we won't be able to go into any elevators because we're just gonna walk around and just check it out so about to go in get through the door in time it's automatic <laughs> oh cool this is sick check out that chandelier wow that's awesome pretty big open lobby just like the bant rings hey mm -hmm. so people to go up those stairs yeah if you wanted to okay let's do it <laughs> so this is the overlook of the lobby pretty cool Overlooks the whole thing. Pretty fancy. I guess these are a bunch of conference rooms. Got a fancy lounge. And I guess it's locked up right here, employees only. All right. Not quite sure if this hotel is haunted like the Bam Springs, but it's pretty well just as big as it. <laughs> when was it built again? It was in the 1920s. Yeah, 1920s, and then it was done being built in 1924. They added that building there. You can show yeah. It there. So that building right there was added in 1927. 87. 87. So that's a new add on. But this building here is obviously the main part. Oh, and then you got some creepy mirrors like in every other hotel. <laughs> well, I saw there was a hallway down there. Should we? Yeah, let's go down toward the shops. Yeah. This is the main hallway, I'm guessing. So there's a gift shop, a bunch of other cool stuff. Art gallery, Chateau Mountain sports thing. Ooh, got some nice statues here. A goat. <laughs> got some really nice Christmas stuff in this store. Got some stuff to put on your tree. I like this. It's nice. Oh. Yeah, that's Can't the, go any further. That's the other way. For that's the, only for guests. People that spend $500. <laughs> yeah, definitely not in our price range. So we're in one of the gift shops. Check out this guy. <laughs> want to get him? If you want. <laughs> they got some socks. Cool, cool. Yeah, I wanted to see if I can get some souvenirs because maybe something with the hotel on it. That'd be cool. <laughs> the door has a mirror. There's me. Da -da 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 -da. Well, that was pretty cool. Had a lot to offer, I would say. <laughs> Got this really cool magnet of the hotel. Pretty awesome. The Chateau Lake Louise Hotel actually is haunted and just got back a few hours ago. Been looking up stories for the past like 20 minutes and there's some pretty creepy ones in here. So it actually is haunted and it's actually a sistering hotel of the Bamp Springs Haunted Hotel. So they're basically the same thing. Basically there was two fires a long time ago and that could have resulted in some deaths 
not really too sure. It doesn't really go into detail on anything really. These are a couple of employees that actually worked there. I worked at Chateau Lake Louise as a night cleaner. There's stories of the staff elevator and how it is haunted, but I'll never forget the feeling when cleaning the kitchen in the Tom Wilson restaurant. Your mind starts racing and then of course your co-workers start messing with you throwing cutlery across the floor. But apparently now you can only see Tom Wilson from the knees up because when he renovated the place, they brought the floor up a foot and he likes watering the plants in the dining room. I worked security at the hotel in the 80s. My job was to cover every inch of the property twice a night. I had to walk the length of the Tom Wilson room. It was very late at night, dark of course, but for a few night lights. We proceeded the length of the hall between rows of tables and chairs, probably 150 or so. We punched our keys at our station at the far end. And when we turned around, the entire corridor we had just walked was full of chairs. Every chair at the table we passed was impeding our exit. We heard nothing, although there was a noticeable chill. Of course, we chose an alternate route through the kitchen at a very brisk pace. Very late one winter's night, I was descending a grand staircase and passed a woman on the landing. I had noticed her coming up the first flight and was surprised to see her wearing summer clothing. And oddly enough, very vintage, appearing to be from the 50s. I attempted to meet her gaze, perhaps to assure her with a smile that all is well, or just a greeting, but she did not look up as she walked past me. As I approached the landing, where we passed each other, I again felt my body temperature drop drastically, like someone opened a winter window, but without a breeze. I averted my eyes for a second to turn to the corner of the stairs, and when I looked to watch her ascend, she was gone. So basically walked past her, went to look back at the stairs to see if she's like coming down, she's gone. I backtracked quickly, running up the stairs in seconds and saw no sign of her in either direction, nor did I hear any doors open or close. The hotel was silent and my temperature was back to normal. Of course, I made my report and it should be on file to this day, along with several others, including screams in empty rooms and other apparitions, so I guess people have seen spirits throughout the hotel and have experienced a lot of weird stuff. It seems like it should be obvious at that point that it's haunted. I can't believe I didn't think it was, but looking at this is pretty interesting actually. I mean it is a sistering hotel of the Banff Springs. That place is also super haunted. My reader didn't go off in there. Not every place that's haunted is gonna have a bunch of activity the day you go of course. Like obviously activity varies day to day whether you're staying there and obviously I can't stay at these hotels because they're like $500 a night. Most of them are $600. I'm gonna actually end this vlog right now and there will be a new one coming out next week. I'm filming a bunch of stuff tomorrow actually that you guys are gonna see next week. Hope you guys enjoyed today's vlog. Hope it interested you guys that I filmed more of Banff this time because the last time I only filmed the Banff Springs Hotel, I got to film two majorly haunted hotels in one. So I hope you guys enjoyed that. That's the end of part one of the Banff 2021 trip. See you guys in next week's vlog. Please comment, like, and subscribe. Peace.